Today, I'm showing you how to get DaVinci Resolve to automatically transcribe your audio and create cool animated captions just like the ones you see below. Let's get straight into it. So I've just added a clip of me talking on the timeline here. Let me play it for you. Now this is time of day time code. And if you're an ATEM Mini user like I am, the great thing about it is the ATEM Mini also uses time of day time code. So what we're gonna do is first of all, we're gonna transcribe the audio and we're gonna leverage DaVinci Resolve's AI audio transcriptions for that. And so you will need DaVinci Resolve Studio for that. I don't believe that's an option that's available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So to do it, go up to timeline up here and then go down to AI tools. And we want the AI create subtitles from audio option here. We're gonna click on that. And you can set here, this is the main thing that you need to change is you can set how many words per line you want. I quite like, and I've got used to 15, it's quite fast. So I'm gonna keep it as that. All the other settings you can basically keep the same. So click create. That will then analyze the audio. You can see it does it super fast. This is obviously quite a short clip. So if you've got a longer one, it may take a little longer. But what that's now done is it's just created static subtitles here. So if we play it through, now this is time of day time code. And if you're an ATEM Mini user like I am, the great thing about it is the ATEM Mini also uses time of day time code. So you can see there's no animation there, but it's got all the wording right. It's got everything split up correctly and timed correctly, but we've got no animation. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to add next. Now, just before we do that, if there was, let's say it hasn't transcribed a, uh, a word correctly, all you would need to do is click on the section. So let's say this bit here, open up your inspector on the right hand side here, and then you'd be able to edit any of these words at this point to correct them or add, add different ones. Equally, if you wanted to change things around, maybe you wanted to kind of shorten this one and take a word out of this one and add it into there, you would be able to do that uh, all inside of the inspector and just by dragging around the timeline. But let's now animate these captions. So to do that, we're actually gonna use the inbuilt animation effects inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio version again. So we're gonna go open up the effects tab, go to titles here, subtitles and then open up subtitles and we have animated. So if we click on that. These are all the kind of presets that DaVinci Resolve Studio give you for animating titles. Now I like quite like this word highlight one. So I'm gonna click and drag that onto our subtitle layer and you'll see it's changed the format of it a little bit and the coloring. And if I just play it through, you'll see what it does, but then we're gonna, we're gonna change the look and style of it a little bit. Now this is time of day time code. And if you're an... So what that's doing is it's highlighting the word as that word is being spoken. Now I'm not a big fan uh, of this color combination we've got going on here. So I'm gonna show you how you can customize it. So again, make sure you've got your subtitle track selected and you can go up to, in the inspector track up here, Click that and here's where we can customize how it looks. So uh, we're gonna actually have the text be white here. And I think in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have the spoken word text also be white, but then we're going to have a red background. So it looks more like this. We can also tweak this background further. So I don't like it this big and sort of thick box. So I'm gonna reduce the box a little bit and don't worry, we'll move it so it fits. And then I'm gonna just center all of that up around the word. So it's like that. I think that looks quite nice. Reduce the roundness maybe a little bit to there. Could give it a little bit of a softness. Yeah, let's go with something like that. So now when we play this back, have a watch of this. Now this is time of day time code. And if you're an ATEM Mini user like I am, the great thing about it is the ATEM Mini also uses time of day time code. How easy was that to create animated captions and subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve Studio? Such a great and powerful tool. Obviously, this is a short clip. You can do it on longer ones. This is absolutely perfect and can be used as well for things like uh, vertical video for your social clips on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube shorts and things like that. And I've just shown you one template here. There are plenty of others. So if we wanted to try a different one, for example, we could actually go back up to the inspector here, delete the animation that we've got applied on there at the moment. And that will take us back to the regular subtitles and we could try another one. So there's this one called slide in. Time of day time code. And if you're That's an ATEM mini user like I am, the great thing, or I'll show you another one, which is rotate.
thing about it is the ATEM Mini also uses time of day time code. So there's a few ones on there. Now I do also want to give a massive shout out as well to Mr. Alex Tex, who a couple of days ago, he released a whole bunch more of these subtitles with his whole um, plugin and package that he's done for subtitling. I'll put it on screen now. There's a free version that just does a basic line uh, very similar to what I've already shown you, but there's also a paid package that for $30 gives you a bunch more cool animated subtitles. So if you are a DaVinci Resolve studio owner, you have to be a studio user. It doesn't work with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Then I would highly recommend looking at that because there's a lot of more cool styles um, and also some cool functions on there that aren't in DaVinci Resolve's uh, native animated subtitle creator. So there we go. Quick tutorial on the channel just to show you how to do animated subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. If you found this useful, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and want more tutorial videos and more review videos on your subscriptions and timelines, hit the subscribe button, join the channel. If you've got any comments or questions about this video, stick them down below. I reply or will reply to as many of them as possible, but read through all of them. And if you need one-to-one -one help with your setup, you can get in contact with me with the details on screen down below right now. And we'll set up a one-to-one -one consulting session for you. And once you've done all that, guys, I will see you on the next video.